hey guys and welcome back as you can tell by the title it got real and let me just tell you this is one of the craziest experiences well not really but it was just a crazy experience and if you're interested in hearing about this stay tuned and homegirl was just way out of line just just way out of line i was about to throw them pops throw them paws no, I wasn't. I can't fight. I've never been in a fight in my life. But I know that's what she wanted me to do. And I was like, not today, Satan. Not today. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, me, my brother, two of my cousins, and my cousin's friend, we were around the house. You know how everybody gathers around funeral time. And we were just like, let's get out of this house and let's do something so we were like let's just go and ride scooters so we went down so we looked and looked and looked we never found just like five or six scooters in one place so my brother dropped me and my 14 year old cousin off and we found two scooters so we got those and we started riding while they were still looking so we're just having a good old time like just gone and uh we had no problems it was a sunday afternoon sunday evening it was not busy if you know how downtown raleigh is on a sunday it's not busy and this was his first time riding so i was like we're not riding on the street we're gonna ride on the sidewalk because it's deserted out here like there's hardly anybody out here so we're good and then we approach a bar when i say a bar i use that lightly there were literally three people there let me tell you and they're outside sitting at a small little round table kind of in the outside of the bar but on the walkway or and pass by them with no problems like no issues no bumping no getting too close no problems whatsoever single file mind you we've gotten at least 15 feet from them is three people sitting at a table a white girl they're all white but two girls a guy and a dog okay and one of the girls says something as we pass by but i know she's talking to us because there's no one out there and she's looking right at us so i didn't hear what she said because we were like 15 20 feet away so i turned around and i was like huh and she's like i hope you know you're supposed to ride those effing scooters on the street and at that point i'm like what <laughs> who you cousin at first of all and my cousin is looking like bright eyed like what's going on and i am too because i'm just like wait what is she talking to us I had to think about it but yeah she was talking to us because no one else was out there who you cussing at lady and you don't have to curse like i don't curse but um like lady calm down we ride wherever we want and she just went off like you know usually there's a progression no she went from like zero to 60 like she been holding this in and uh we were just going back and forth at co of course at this point i'm verbally defending myself because she is talking out her neck like saying all crazy stuff and then she has the nerve to get up from her seat and walk towards us girl i'm sitting on my scooter like what's this about like it had escalated to the point we were yelling in the middle of downtown looking crazy yelling at each other back and forth she say something i say something she say something i say something my total my defense was basically like who are you to tell us where to ride scooters is not even that serious we're not disturbing you mind your business okay that <laughs> did not do anything because she was still going off and at this point she had called me like all sorts of names got up with her dog walked towards us halfway never got in our face of course <laughs> she ain't that crazy but um walked towards us so that now she's like just a couple of feet from us and was like I will put my dog on you put my dog on you and i'm just like over a scooter lady a scooter next thing you know she's called me a nigga and i was like wait what what oh it's almost like 
if you're a person of another race and you get upset with a black person and your first thing is to go to the n-word you got some deep rooted issues within you that you need to work out with like jesus or a counselor or both and i was just appalled like who you call it that's exactly what i said i said who you calling the n-word i didn't even say it back to her i don't know why i should have who you calling the n-word my cousin is like oh, he's 14 years old he's never been called that i haven't either and i'm way older than him 31 and no one's ever called me that and at this point i'm like wow this she really took it to another level so not only did she do it once we walk away or ride away <laughs> on our scooters to get on the other side of the street and of course we're still riding on the sidewalk because she ain't about to tell me what to do still riding on the sidewalk and from across the street she has put her dog in the bar opened the door threw him in there shut the door and came back out to continue to cuss us out from across the street and called us the n-word multiple times now my cousin is calling our my brother and his sister and is like y'all get over here right now <laughs> it took them a minute to get over here he kept going i said you know what first of all i was a little upset that there were other black people on the street they were kind of like i think homeless people but i don't care you heard what she was saying and you were black and they literally just stood there and was like no one ever said anything like do you not think it would be appropriate to be like whoa we ain't gonna say that or i mean something they did nothing we kind of move away from her and her craziness because i knew if my cousins came you know the other people look for the scooters if they came they would have started some mess but they behaved themselves they were just like what they were upset but they didn't go over there and confront the girl and like show out which i was glad about that uh, one of her friends that were sitting at the table with her a gentleman found us downtown and was like i'm so sorry for that i hope you know that you know i have black friends i don't i don't uh i don't feel the same way that she does we don't share the same feelings about black people and i'm so sorry i'm so sorry so i was like okay that's what's up but i mean you don't need to apologize she clearly needs to apologize never said anything so we left downtown went back to the family house where everybody was still meeting and you know how our cousins are they were like why y'all ain't call us we would have been out there in 10 minutes because i was like i know y'all would have showed your tails and we need to make it to this funeral and not have y'all arrested and in the slammer so monday rolls around and i go to the bar to maybe see if she worked there i thought she may work there because she felt comfortable putting her dog in the establishment which is dog friendly yuck to me but it's a dog friendly bar um but she felt so comfortable leaving him in there while she came back out to cuss us out and call us the n-word multiple times that i thought oh she probably works there all right it's time for homegirl to be let go and um so i went back on like a monday they were closed okay i came back a couple of days later and guess who was up in there betty was up in there so i was like okay uh delta relax remain calm the whole time when i told my mom this story she was like you should have recorded it i didn't think about that i was trying to not get hit by a car not get attacked by a dog not get in a fight don't curse make sure my cousin was okay like i did not think about recording i just didn't so this time i recorded our conversation but let me tell y'all i walked in and it was a few people sitting at a bar this is a tiny little place i've never seen that many people in there a few people sitting at the bar and in order to talk to the people that work there you had to like sit at the bar or stand right there between the chairs so i stood there phone on record and talked to this boy and i was like um may i talk to a manager please calm as ever may i talk to a manager and he pointed at the girl and got the girl to come and talk to me the, the girl was the manager 
girl that that put a whole twist in it. at this point i knew she didn't recognize me until i brought it up and i said on sunday you had an outburst <laughs> you had a complete outburst honey and you completely fussed out me and my 14 year old cousin and then you t called us the n-word she multiple times she was like oh no oh oh no oh no i was like oh yes you did i would not be up here otherwise she denied it gave some little all right and then she started to be combative with me almost like this is all your fault because you shouldn't have been riding on the sidewalk and i'm like what you really think something this small was worth all of that and she probably she put the blame on me it's poor judgment um, you shouldn't have been doing this. You shouldn't have been doing that. And you shouldn't have been riding a scooter on the sidewalk. None of this is a reason to call anyone the N-word or curse them out. It doesn't matter what I was doing. She did not get it. And she was basically like, well, you're to blame. I guess we we're both wrong. And I was like, no, just you. Just you. That's it. So we weren't getting anywhere. She was trying to be like... You know when it's a professional but they still got an attitude with you but they still trying to keep it professional she was trying to be like that so i was like okay we're not getting anywhere it's time for me to take it to the next level well i went to facebook i put this long post like it was super long it got so many shares so like so many people liked commented before i knew it people were in my inbox asking me questions they had found the owners um they found the owners somehow online and somebody found the girl i didn't know her name or anything i never asked her name i did i just didn't know who she was they went in i'm telling you they put reviews on the rest called him or he called me i'm not sure but we talked on the phone and he was just like i'm so sorry i'm gonna Whenever I see her, we're going to meet, blah, 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 blah. And I told him everything that happened. Please call me. Please give me a chance to make this right. And um, I promise we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Just take it down. And I promise we'll make it right. And I'm just like, why don't you make it right before I take it down? <laughs> this is how I knew he didn't believe me 100% was because he was like, um, I'm not going to say her real name what she would call her i just call her betty since i called it that earlier he was just like you know this really doesn't sound like betty i mean i've had a few complaints about her here and there but i don't think she would go so far as to like threaten you guys which was against the law anyway threaten you guys and you know say racist terms i mean she went up to washington to march with black lives matter i just don't see her doing that and at this point i'm getting a little offended that you're basically calling me a liar and i had the newspaper reach out to me like they were messaging me the local news station was like messaging me calling me contacting my brother because my brother knows a lot of like big people in the city and um i gave a statement to the newspaper and i didn't give a statement to the news he wanted to like send a camera crew and stuff and i was like no I ain't doing all that because <clears throat> they were really supportive and I'm so thankful for that but I was like no I don't want to do an interview and then you google my name and it's associated with this for how many years to come like it's not that serious and um so we didn't do that and I told the owner he was like you know I know people are reaching out to you but he was basically like don't do any press please 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 don't let this get bigger please it's already been like 150 like he was sending me messages and Facebook text messages it was bananas so I contacted the lady from the newspaper and was like don't release anything um we're gonna handle it don't put an article out and don't put anything on facebook and i said the same to the other news people that were contacting me i was like well this is <laughs> this is out of hand <laughs> but i mean it, it it was what it was she the one that called us the n-word so the owner didn't really believe me but eventually he came around and was just like okay 
Betty is fired. She'll never work for us again. And I was like, I don't want her fired and then y'all rehire her six months because she's a good employee. Because that's what he kept reminding me of. Like, I don't care. <laughs> People appear good all they want until they do something shady like this. They can even match for March for Black Lives Matter and still use offensive terminology. So that's a front. Like, you really have to have some deep-seated issues. I had everything got worked out and it is over. I'm so glad it's over and I hope homegirl learned a lesson. I was curious to know like what she was probably posting on her page but whatever. Hopefully she won't call anyone the n-word ever again because that is so ugly and like unbecoming so. So that was all of my story time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please love more instead of hate. We got to stop with the racism, guys. And um, more videos to come, more story times to come. I have a wig on the way. I cannot wait to review this wig. Like, I have needed new wigs for forever, but I had to kind of prioritize and not get wigs when I don't need to be spending money. But I got this one and some more uh, vlogs, kind of vlogs coming up so i'm really excited about that okay thanks for watching